What's up guys? I made this awesome backdrop for myself with bleach and tie-dye and it only took a day. So let me show you how I did it. See most of my homies hustle, they still do their thing. Safety first. Wait. We're going to get some fabric, yeah. So we we've got our black canvas, six feet by five feet. The first step is to come up with our designs. And so I wanted to do my logo. So I printed out the three letters that I want to carve out. So I made them as big as I could fit each letter on each page, kind of get an idea of if that's big enough or if that sizing works. All right, let's cut them out. So I've got my cutting board, my stencils, my X-Acto knife. Be careful, they're really sharp. So this is kind of an easy one to cut out, big straight lines. Not everything is so easy. You definitely don't feel like you're limited. You just take your time and work your way through it. And you can really do like a lot of patterns. So something weird with this project, or with a lot of the projects like this, is that you want the outside, not the inside, which is a little strange. But for some letters like D and O, you have to cut the inside out. Masking tape to fix any of the mistakes. So now we've got to tape down all the stencils. Make sure they're all fixed up so that they're exactly how you want them to look. You can kind of trim them masking tape with the exacto knife to match what you want. All right, next up, you want to get some regular bleach and a spray bottle you can find around the house. Fill it up like halfway, I'd say. I'm gonna dilute it probably 50-50. Perfect. All right, we're gonna shake up our bleach bottle and let's spray out, let's get started. No turning back now. Just stand right above it. I'm not too worried about spilling. I just kind of want to get clear letters. You can already see it starting to bleach out. So yeah, I think with the spray bottle, you're really able to get like a really even coat. So that's already looking really good. So now I'm gonna immediately start getting ready for the rest of the design. So now we've got a bunch of masking tape on this to kind of create some patterns that can't get bleached out. And then we're kind of just gonna half spray, full spray, just try and create as much kind of crazy pattern all over this thing as I can. So I'm just barely pulling the trigger to get big droplets out. So you can already see it starting to come alive. So here we are after finishing, rinsing it off and drying it. It's still a little bit damp, but it's definitely looking pretty good. So I definitely had some run, the bleach on the DOF. You can see like the F smudgy. It's not too bad, you can still make it out and we're not done yet. We'll use some dye and try to sharpen it up. But other than that, I think it looks really good. It's an awesome pattern. I think the, uh, the tape pieces came out really well. I'm definitely gonna keep that in mind for next time. So we're gonna tie dye it soon, but we kind of wanna at least for the doff, like define where we're gonna tie dye so that it makes the doff stand out more. So now I'm redrawing the doff with tape just to guide the tie dye. Again, don't have to be too exact with it. Just kind of trying to make it look cool. Here's the tie dye kit, some glow fabric paint. What are you I thinking? Hope it's good, but like it totally looks like just a giant mess so far. But it's a colorful mess, so like there's no, no way it's going to be No, I think it's gorgeous. Bad. Like, what are you yeah. worried about? No, I'm not worried about anything. It looks insane. Oh my god, it looks sick. Um, and I'm still gonna add a couple of touches, like. Like what else? The glow paint, the yellow glow paint. Oh yeah, the puff paint that's glows. Yeah. That'll be cute because like at night when you turn off your whole setup, it'll uh, it'll just glow in there by itself. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful, darling. Here we are the next morning. It's all dry, 
All the dyes have dried and I washed it, dried it. Looking pretty good. So now I'm going over it. Glow paint, dimensional fabric paint. And I'm basically just kind of outlining and detailing and just trying to give it like some more depth. Couple dots, you know, fat swirl. You know what would be cool? This kind of looks like Saturn. Put a ring on it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I put the ring like a little high, but it's fire. <laughs> Damn, this other big one looks like a planet too. I'm doing it. Yeah, I like this exact look how they looked. Now I'm just giving it the old, the old paint splatter. Fire. All right, we'll be back in like 24 hours. And we'll update you guys. Throw it up on the wall. I'm excited. I think it's all dry. It seems tacky, but dry. Time to put it on the wall. And trim off some of the frayed edges. Boom. So that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you did and definitely let me know in the comments if you have any questions about how you could make your own. Peace. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my fucking heart. Drink some water, call your friends and family, tell them you love them and smoke a lot of fucking weed. Thank you.